Reference dimensional constraints. Here we have a fully constrained object. However, if we try to over constrain it, that means put too many constraints on it past the fully constrained object, AutoCAD doesn't want us to do that. So it steps in and will ask us if we want to place a reference dimension. In drafting terms, a reference dimension is something for the crass per person to know that what the dimension is, but they know it's not the controlling dimension. So in here, I'm going to choose a linear constraint. I'm going to go over here and pick on this point here, and I'm going to pick on that point there. Now when I drag it down to place the uh, dimension line location, I pick, and I'll hit enter, and it pops up a warning message and says, hey, do you want to create a reference dimension, or do you want to reselect the objects to dimensionally constrain? So in other words, I picked maybe the wrong ones. I'm going to say yes, I want to create a reference dimension. When it does that, it puts parentheses around the dimension. Okay, And I'll do that one more time. I'm going to go up and do a linear. I'm going to pick on this corner here pick on this corner here and I'm going to pick and I'm going to hit enter and right away it says do you want a reference dimension and I'll say sure and now I get a parentheses in here so in this case the fabricator making the piece up would know that this is the dimension that you want to hold and this is the dimension you want to hold okay so uh, Reference dimensional constraints are there so that we don't over constraint an object and it will allow us to either A, make change our mind, do something different, or B, place in a reference uh, dimension.